Hey guys, Gal with the Camera 23, and I'm here today to do a kind of hybrid video. Now, I don't want it, I don't want this to be kind of a straight down the line review. I just wanted to be make it a kind of um, just my thoughts on the film and kind of maybe might make a discussion out of it, which I'd really really like. Uh, basically, yesterday I went to a preview screening of a new film called Boyhood. You may have heard of it, you may not have heard of it. It's an absolutely fantastic film. Uh, Richard Linklater, who's a great director. I haven't seen any of the before trilogy before, but I've heard nothing but good things. I've seen School of Rock, and I'm pretty sure that's the only film I've seen of his. But he has a new film coming out, and it's not just a film, really. It's kind of an experiment, really. Uh, basically, in, I, believe, I believe it was 2002, uh, Richard, Linklater, Richard Linklater had this idea to basically find a, a young child actor, which he found in... Uh, uh, I believe his name is L.R. Coltrane, I believe his second name was something different before, and getting from the age of six, and basically through the, the period of the next 12 years, this was an ongoing film, he basically uh, wrote script pages, uh, wrote different characters, he also had his own daughter in there when she was, when she was uh, again, the same, I think she was about a year older than him, and basically, yeah, make a film out of this kid's life, show him from the age of six to the age of uh, 17 or 18, and kind of make this this massive film. It's over two and three quarter hours, but it's 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 every bit as good as any other film out there. I mean, it's about it's. I mean, it's about it's a kid's life. I mean, it's not going to be like an hour and a half or anything. It's going to be it's going to be pretty hefty, and it is. But it's absolutely incredible. Definitely the best film of the year so far. Um, that's, that is until Foxcatcher comes out at the end of the year. But like I said, I don't want to be this kind of an actual. Like a straight down the line review, like how the camera reviews, because I don't want to kind of um, have a, a set review. I just want to kind of talk about it, make people aware of it if you're not aware of it already. But it's, like I say, it's not just a film. It's it really is something special. It deserves to be seen. Um, it comes out on general release uh, this Friday, July 11th, and I implore every single person to go and see this film. It's a film that. That even though it is a 15 certificate and there's kind of strong language and stuff, I believe that every single person in the world should see this film. It resonates with different kind of people. It resonates with uh, with a uh, with kind of uh, kind of younger people because they get to see maybe like their like maybe a tiny glimpse of maybe their future kind of growing up and stuff. And it's going to uh, um, it's going to be uh, good for kind of a parent who. Who may may have may have smaller uh, smaller children may have uh, kind of children gone up, gone off to college kind of maybe com well not compare lives but kind of uh, maybe what they might feel in the future is very um, kind of emotional film. There's a really heartbreaking scene towards the end of it which I nearly cried in. It's really 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 cool, and it just resonates with. I believe it will resonate with a lot a lot of people. I've only seen one four star review of this film. Every other every other review has been five stars, and it absolutely um, deserves it. And one of the greatest strengths of uh, Richard Linklater is is is, is, have, is having um, uh, different different songs. Basically, uh, there is no kind of like title cast to see how to kind of say how much time has passed. But what he does really really well is he um, has different songs to kind of um, coincide with different years. I mean, the first song in the film is a uh, "Yellow" by Coldplay. And the last film, last song of the film, things by I think is Arcade Fire. It really kind of uh, not only does it um, kind of show the passage of like people's lives, it also shows the passage of kind of mu different music and also different kind of technology. Like you see the birth of the iPod, the iPhone, and stuff. You see, di you see different technology. I mean, because a film that would just kind of make up something at the beginning and kind of like make up stuff towards the end, it wouldn't be as naturalistic as the film is. It's just. It's, I don't know, it's just something about it, it's just very, like I said, it's just an important film, and I really like that, um, just seeing, like I said, it's kind of making up things that would hap that happen, like, if you like made a film that was set in the past, you could kind of, um, because it's, you kind of know what happens, you kind of make stuff up, but because this was filmed through, the, the actual filmed through the years, it really brings kind of a more, again, kind of naturalistic, the like progression progression of time, which I really really loved about the film, really one of the strong points. Great acting. You got uh, Patricia Arquette and Ethan Hawke as uh, Mason, uh, Mason, who is a, who is a child as divor uh, divorced parents, and basically you see her marry this uh, kind of through the years. She kind of marries one guy. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but he turns out to be not a very nice person. 
And then later on, in th later on through the years, she meets someone else who again turns out to be not a very nice person. And she kind of uh, finds that she's better off on her own. Uh, it's ri all, all the story arcs are absolutely incredible. Uh, the little girl, obviously, is Richard, Link Richard Linklater's daughter, who plays the sister. Really, really kind of a naturalistic actor, uh, ac actress, actor. Uh, what I really like, I saw um, uh, the trivia on IMDb, and apparently, <laughs> so apparently, she was like that. The girl who plays the daughter. Uh, Place her sister was like really excited to do it when she was like really younger, and then when she got older, she kind of kind of, kind of lost the uh, the passion for the project. And apparently, the one <coughs> the panic she wanted um, to kill her off kind of later on in the film. I was thinking, really, they're really going to go there, but then kind of uh, uh, Richard said like um, they didn't want to kind of go down that really dark route, so uh, she kind of stuck it out. And it really, it's just uh, that's probably one of the best uh, trivia things on IMDb I've ever seen for any film. <laughs> That actually, she wanted her she wanted her character to be ki to be killed off. That is that is pretty dark, really. Uh, but thankfully, they didn't. Obviously, uh, oh, Ethan Hawke is good in every. Well, he's mainly good in everything. <laughs> he's been in a, a couple of stinkers, but uh, really good. Like I say, the naturalistic acting is absolutely incredible. Uh, I mean, it, it's, this is an obvious statement to make, but it really is like seeing someone grow up. It, it's. I don't know, it's just it's something really special. Uh, I know there's something, I think kind of the Smithsonian or something, do this thing where they um, have like, a, like uh, a list of films that have some kind of cultural or uh, something significant. And I honestly reckon this film, kind of years down the line, will be put into that. I think it's the Smithsonian anyway, but something like that. But like I can say it's more than a movie. It's, it's a magnum opus of two and three quarter hours. But no, not what for, for me. Not one scene is wasted. Not one scene uh, doesn't need to be there. It's absolutely incredible. One of the best films. Well, sorry, the best film of the year um, so far. Obviously, it's only the middle of the year. So we can like, some kind of bump that off. But it's definitely going to be being my top five by the end of the year. Absolutely incredible. And yeah, like I say, when this comes out on general on general release uh, this Friday, I really like to get some kind of discussion going. Maybe even do a kind of. Um, kind of a live chat or something about the film but it's just a film that I feel is important for people to see um, I don't know how many how kind of uh, cinemas it'll be in but if the second you see that this film is a cinema near you go and see it I implore you you and you and you and you and you and you to go and see it it's important it's an important film I believe I mean yeah you might not um, kind of share my um, my statements my sympathies but if you don't, that's fair enough. Maybe you could do a review, maybe even a radio response. I don't know. But like I said, I just feel that it's just a really important film. And uh, yeah, I wanted to do this kind of little review slash discussion video. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I need to say about this film. Uh, I will post a link to my um, letterbox review of this film as well down in the description box because it kind of goes into a little bit more detail. Um, I just feel that um, kind of writing writing things down kind of works a bit better than on camera but I just wanted like I say it's more of a kind of to make people aware of this film and for people to go and see it and if I could kind of turn people onto this film it would be like the greatest feeling in the world because I love doing that I love kind of like a film that I like and then someone else watches and they like as well is one of the best feelings in the world to me and I hope that happens uh, for you so yeah thanks for watching uh, uh, like this video if you want to comment it comment on it if you want to as well and yeah, so thanks for watching, more videos are coming in the future of course, and have a great day.